Thank you, Steve. It is a true story about two medical missionaries who get caught in the Ebola outbreak in West Africa. Remember that? And they end up with the deadly virus themselves. Listen. Ebola is the world's most dangerous virus. The disease is out of control in West Africa. My phone rang, and Ken Isaacs said, one of our doctors, Kent Brantley, has Ebola. David looked at me and he said, you too have Ebola. There was a high likelihood our team members were going to die. Wow. The Reverend Franklin Graham of Samaritan's Purse is the executive producer, doing movies now, of Facing Darkness. And he joins us now to tell us more about this film and the message of faith. Good morning to you, Reverend. Morning, Thanks Nancy. for joining us. Thank you, Nancy. I remember this. We all remember this. The Ebola, it was so scary. We were worried about people coming back to America that yeah. might have contracted it. And then we learned that a man who has given up so much of his free time to go and volunteer for your mm -hmm. organization and help other people in Liberia, mm -hmm. that he gets the disease and so does this missionary, the female nurse. They, they both get it, and Anza, there's nothing I can do to save their life. Uh, and this is a story of God. God interfering and God moving people like a, like a chess pawns uh, to save their life. And so we wanted to document what God did and give, give him the credit for it. But uh, God brought a lot of people together, and this is a story of many people coming together and God moving them to save the lives of these two. And they're, they're still with us today, and this movie comes out Thursday. And then there's going to be a redo on the, on the 10th of, uh, of April. But uh, if someone wants to see this, they can go to FacingDarknessMovie.com. And uh, they can put in their zip code and it'll show you where the theaters are in your area, 600 theaters across the country mm -hmm. that are showing this. But it's a great story and it's true. And the, these aren't actors. And yeah, you these are the real, there real the people. Ground. You were following them through their diagnosis, right? Well, we, we had people in our, we were always send our cameras out when we have projects like this uh, to record it. And so we had this recorded and we just had a mountain of this video and we thought uh, what are we going to do with it and I just uh, felt uh, and so did others we need to we need to show what God did and do, you, do you see in the movie how they they were diagnosed did they think they were, they didn't have a prayer at that point right no and I had I, I was working on a project up in Alaska and when I got the call and I went back home to North Carolina and you know when you get a bowl you have about 10 days if you're healthy if you're not healthy you may have about four days uh, to live uh, they were healthy of course but the time the, the clock was ticking uh, airlines wouldn't bring you back we even had an insurance policy where a plane would go anywhere in the world to pick you up if you're sick well, when we told them that they were going to Liberia and we had an Ebola patient, they said, we're not going. They said, no way. And, uh, Cause they would, they, there was a chance the pilot would get it or anyone on board would get it. When you got that phone call and you learned this is someone who is working for your organization, what, did, what, what went through your mind? It, it was probably the worst, uh, worst day of my life. And I told Dr. Brantley uh, when I got to be with him about a month later, I said, Dr. Brantley, you're responsible for the worst week of my life. Yeah. <laughs> he said, well, my week wasn't much better. I'm sure. Okay, so let's talk about what God did in this situation. How did they survive? Uh, there was a, 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 a drug called ZMAP that was, had been sent, just, this was just one dose that had been sent to Dr. Khan, who was a, a doctor in Sierra Leone. And the lawyers said, don't give it to him because it's an experimental drug. He died. And they brought that experimental drug over to Liberia for Dr. Brandt, and they said, this might help. And uh, they gave him one of these bags, just out of a, a dose of three, just one. And he went into convulsions, and within 30 minutes after putting that in his arm, and he was dying, he was not going to live through the night. And they put that in his arm, he went into convulsions, and 30 minutes later he got up out of bed and went to the bathroom. Hadn't been out of bed in three days. God showed up. Wow. And now he is living in Fort Worth, Texas. Fort Worth. He was young when he was like 34 years old when he got, when he got yeah. Ebola. Now he has his family. He's living in Fort Worth, Texas. He's living in Fort this Worth. This is his story. This is the story of the nurse who also survived. Nancy Wright Bowl. Wonderful lady. I can't wait to see it. Okay, for more information, you can go to facingdarknessmovie.com. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you, Anselm. God bless you. Thank God bless you. Thank you.